Welcome to Governor 1% Cuomo's State of the State. We have the need. We have the know-how. Whoops. No, no. We ain't never gonna let you frack. New York, fight back. Just as an example, in the SGIS, they used a build-out scenario that had way more wells than even industry was proposing so that they could up the economic figures so they could use that economic argument. That's a political process that's wrong and that shouldn't happen. And the governor can't have a day where he celebrates all the wonderful things he's done and not be reminded that he keeps avoiding this issue. And it even appears like he's pushing it forward. And that's a huge mistake for him. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking, where millions of gallons of water mixed with sand and chemicals are pumped down the well at enormous pressure. ignored some of the serious geological problems. For that, you need facts. Like, what's really in the 5 million gallons of fluid, including the 75,000 gallons of chemicals used to frack a single well? We're seeing right now across the state, the gas industry is bringing the full resources, their financial and legal resources to bear against small towns, community boards, town councils. The governor and the DEC have completely left out health impact analysis. You know, there was, this spring, we sent a letter with a bunch of other organizations and over 250 doctors and medical societies saying this process needs to stop until they do a health impact assessment. How can you go forward in New York State with something as serious as this that will have such major impacts to our communities and our people's health and you haven't even looked at what the possible ramifications of that are? That's ridiculous. The governor needs to wake up and smell the coffee before it's filled with crack food to ban fracking statewide, nationwide, and globally, not on planet Earth. 16 municipalities pass moratoriums against fracking. Seven counties prohibit fracking on all county land. Hydrofracking's got to go. Hey, hey. With the gas production boom underway in the Marcellus Shale and plans for some 400,000 wells in the coming decades, the cumulative impact of dumping potential lethal waste without adequate oversight is a catastrophe waiting to happen. First term, last term, ban fracking now. DEC can't start issuing permits this spring because they have not come up with a system to protect New York, period. We are telling the truth. We have the good science behind us. The scientists who are paid off, they work for the gas industry. But we have the real scientists. Whoa, Jesus Christ. The Governor Cuomo wants to legalize gambling. When it comes to hydrofracking, that's exactly what he's doing. Governor 1% is betting New York State water supply won't be affected by fracking. Although it was Dick Cheney and his cronies from the gas industry who passed laws that allow gas companies immunity from disclosure from what they're putting in our earth. Does anyone actually believe what the gas industry is telling us? Have they ever told us the truth? If fracking comes to New York, Andrew Cuomo will be known as the governor who poisoned New York State.